Success. Is that what we want? What is success? How do we get there? What path do we take? We may have some answers. Is it ran down somewhere? In a book? This is GRIT 2021, How We Navigate. Today, we'll be speaking with Stony Brook University alumni Chris Murray, Assistant Vice President for the Northeast at Van Wagner. Welcome, Chris. Tell us what Van Wagner's mission is. That's a great question. You know, Van Wagner is a pretty large company with a lot of different divisions. Uh, the base is really being in sports and live entertainment, where we have great partnerships with the NBA and the MLB, where we handle almost all of their TV visible signage, both behind home plate and along the sidelines of NBA games. Uh, we deal with production. You know, last year we were involved with the NFL draft being held fully remotely for the very first mm -hmm. time where we built an entire hardware software package to mail cameras and lights to Commissioner Goodell and the coaches and the agents and the players and put on one of the largest remote shows really in history uh, with very short notice. Because at the time, you should remember back then, we weren't sure with COVID happening, what was going to be yeah. like, these you know, short shutdown. And now we know obviously what, what happened, but a large production company. Recently, we've launched this collegiate services division with the hope of bringing our experience and expertise as far as partnership development from professional sports to growing colleges like Stony Brook. So my division is the collegiate services division. Our goal here at Stony Brook is to help the athletic program continue to grow and become a powerhouse division one athletic program through media partnerships, community partnerships to drive revenue, fund scholarships, and you continue to kind of fill in the gaps as we want to continue to grow to become one of the prominent athletic programs here in the Northeast. So in a very long-winded answer, that's our, our objective here at Stony Brook. Okay, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, how'd you get from being a biology major to a marketing career? Great question. So uh, when I came out of Stony Brook here, I'm at my undergraduate in biology, I got my master's here as well at Stony Brook in education. Mm -hmm. This is right around the time of the Great uh, Recession, you know, back mm -hmm. in 2009, 2010. Yeah. When I started college, everyone told me, Chris, you'd be dual certified in biology and special education, you'll teach anywhere you want. So I came out, I was certified in grades 5 to 12, biology and special ed, I couldn't get an interview let alone a wow. job, because right now, you know, public education was really hit hard mm -hmm. by the recession and no one was in a position really. Uh, all my friends who were teachers, some of them got jobs in Arizona and North Carolina and other areas, but I had a lot of family here. I wanted to stay close to home. Uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, <laughs> I was involved in athletics as an undergraduate student yeah. here, and that kind of just got me involved with that entire network of coaches and administrators there, and I got to learn about the entire business behind sports besides just playing and coaching on the side yeah. as well. Uh, that led to my graduate assistantship, and uh, through a kind of an interesting course of events, a spot opened up in the marketing department. And they came to me and said, listen, we know you need a job, you know, you don't have the degree in it, but you were our guy's right-hand shadow, really, for the quite the longest time here and absorbed everything there is to know about marketing and college athletics here. Will you fill in and take that job? And I said, yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I came out of school with some loans and I was gonna yeah. get a little, little nervous about what's gonna happen now if I can't get a job teaching. So I jumped up the opportunity just to get involved and get that, that job and career, and I caught the bug. You know, I, I completely fell in love with college athletics and all the energy around it, building the community on campus and spreading the red we always talked about and what's a Seawolf, I'm a Seawolf. And every day was just such high energy and so different that I knew right there and then I'm going to get involved in college athletics and sports. And that really kind of guided me to where I am today. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, do you think getting a master's degree is critical for success? Whew, well, that's a great question. <laughs> I think it's very industry specific. Mm. You know, I can tell you in my industry right now, because I've done a lot of hiring over the past few years in particular, resumes are certainly important. My feeling is a resume gets you an interview, and then the interview is where you get the actual job. So it's important to get in that door, and that resume is going to help you get into that door. To me, in my field in particular, people who are outgoing, positive, 
uh, not afraid to stop at nothing to get what they need done as far as a sales goal, I can't teach that. You know, I can't teach that internal drive, that motor. Mm -hmm. I can teach everything else yeah. around sports business and advertising and marketing and audience demographics mm -hmm. and A-B testing. And that's very teachable. Yeah. I can't teach instinct and drive. Mm -hmm. So I'm much more about getting to know the person where when I interview somebody, we'll have an interview, we'll get breakfast, we'll go for a walk around the stadium. I need to spend time with that person to get to really know them and what motivates them, what makes them tick. So I can't speak across the entire, you know, of course. Uh, the, the broad of all, all careers out there. But in, in my field, I think there's certainly a lot of great things you can get from a master's degree, but there's also so much you can learn from an internship and that first job as well. That's so vital to, yeah, to success to kind of fast forward your career. So I, I don't know if I can answer that 100%. Uh, I can see value in both, but yeah. I think in, in my field, experience is so crucial because we all start out as terrible salespeople mm -hmm. and you got to get through those reps and get better and learn from it. So the faster you can get into that experience and get that on your resume, I think the better you're going to be. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I like the idea of like, you know, like the interview really being what helps get the, land the job for somebody. Like you mentioned, talking to them, getting to know them rather than, you know, really focusing on like what they've done in the past, like getting a master's or something like that. 100 percent. You know, yeah. there's definitely something to that, obviously, getting a, a four year degree from a school like Stony mm -hmm. Brook. That takes a lot of work and dedication. Yeah, and definitely. I certainly understand that. But it's about can you take those skills and combine them with the skills I need for this industry mm -hmm. and this field and job? And do you have both of those? Because I need I need them both. Yeah. I know you got this. Now, do you have this exactly. as well? And that's a big right. part of it for me and what I do. Definitely. Um, well, a hobby for me is I really love driving. Um, I know you work with lots of car dealerships and yeah. things. So what is it that they're looking for to get from you? We've got a huge audience of people here tied to Stony Brook. You know, growing up on Long Island, you either went to Stony Brook, you work at Stony Brook, or you know somebody went to Stony Brook. Between our network of 25,000 students, between mm -hmm. undergraduate, graduate, medical school, 18,500 employees in the university and the hospital system, uh, our alumni network is now 200,000 people with, I think, I should know this offhand, 82,000 in Suffolk and Nassau County right here. Oh. And at Stony Brook Games, between football and basketball and volleyball and baseball, we get about 200,000 fans coming to our games mm -hmm. and an additional several hundred thousand watching our games yeah. on TV and broadcast. So that's a huge audience to market towards. So when we look for an auto partner, we look for two things. One, strongly reviewed partner. We don't want to partner with a shady car dealer. Yeah. We want to ensure that they're well established, they're credible, they're Indeed. reputable in the community, and they can provide good value to the audience here at Stony Brook. And then secondly, we want to ensure they want to be a good campus-wide partner. Can they offer things like leasing incentives for new, for new graduates? For you know, bring down your new degree. Hey, we want to help you out. We understand it's tough coming out of school. We want to give you a great deal on a new car. Build that great partnership that way as well. So that's what we're looking for in an auto partner is somebody who's tied to the community, understands what we're trying to do here and what your money does and what makes Stony Brook so unique to other schools as far as the, the student body here at Stony Brook and how different it is from a lot of other campuses across the entire country. We get people who buy into that, want to be a part of that mission, and that makes for the best partners across all industries and auto in particular as well. Mm, yeah, I like the idea of, um, you know, working together to help students, you know, lease a car. Some may not be in the right financial state to, you know, pay what they're what they are asking for of course but yeah I like that idea we always look for that in our partners you know across all of our industries we'll always look for internships and jobs and you know working with h2m architectures they're a great partner here of athletics and they're really all about just how do we get involved and give back to the students and help work with the engineer students and get their internships and jobs and summer programs and they've been a great partners to name one in particular um, new york life's been a fantastic partner of ours to get in front of young people looking for jobs and how to break into the career field uh, we, we really identify partners who are multifaceted where they're able to help fund programs here, they're looking to get their name out there, but also go beyond that. And how yeah. can they really get involved and help the students at Stony Brook? And those are some of our longest term partners we've had really in athletics. Okay. So um, do you love what you do or do you think you'll move on to a different career someday? I think I'll always work in sports. You know, there's something about the energy of a game day. 
when the team is down and it's that big rally and the timeout happens, the crowd gets so excited. I, I love how athletics can galvanize an entire campus. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a bio student, engineer, you're a, a doctor, a nurse, uh, a professor, we're all Seawolves. And we get at the game together, you're sitting next to each other, you're all in red, you're all kind of united around that yeah. us versus them type of mentality. It's like a huge family. It really is. Yeah. You know, so whatever your role here is at Stony Brook, I love the fact that athletics can bring it all together. And that's what we really all have in common, is we're all Seawolves together. So I think I'll definitely work in sports. Uh, will I always work in corporate sponsorships? Maybe. You know, I'm certainly enjoying what I do now. I love being able to help fund things here at Stony Brook and find those, those business partners out there that are looking to partner with us and mm -hmm. being the one to bring that all together and that, all the positivity that comes with that as well. So I, I think I'll always work in sports. Um, what will be happening five years from now? Well, we'll have to see. <laughs> yeah. Hope it all works out. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to college students as to how to navigate choosing a career? If you don't know what you want to do yet, that's totally okay. Because I knew what I wanted to do, and look where I ended up. Right. Get involved. You have to get involved. You have to get involved. You have to get involved. You know, when we're hiring, I love seeing well-rounded students. I love seeing someone who was a, a great student, involved in this club and org, volunteered here as well. That shows me so many things. You know, it, it shows me you're well-rounded that you don't just focus on one thing, that you can really help problem solve in various different things. You have a wide skill set. Uh, it shows me you're interested in various areas as well. It shows me you can handle a lot of complex things happening at once in time management and how important that is as well. And you never know what's going to happen. You know, I, I sympathize with a lot of folks who came out of school recently into a negative economy around COVID-19 yeah. because it might not have been as extreme, but I was in a very similar position coming out as well. So I understand what it's like to come out and have that fear of, I just went to college, I took these loans out, and, and now the economy's the way it is. Yeah. So while you're in school, keep every door open as much as possible because you never know what type of career path might present yourself this way, and you want to have those experiences there to, to fall back on. So get involved in your major, get involved outside of your major. You'll meet great people, make great friends, awesome networking connections. I, I don't see any negatives to getting involved while at Stony Brook or any college in terms of clubs and orgs and groups and volunteer work. It's all just positive. So the more you can do that, the better off you're going to be. Mm, okay. Well, um, thank you for coming, and thank you for all of your insight. Um, appreciate the conversation, really. Well, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure talking to you, and uh, good luck to you as well going forward. Thank you. Appreciate it.